Hey guys, Dryce Walker here. This time I'm going to be explaining to you uh, how earthquake valves work. Uh, we just built this house. There are two houses in here, one in the back, one in front. So there is a reason why there are two earthquake valves here. So we have one inch line coming from underground. So we have to have a one inch earthquake valve. So we have two of them in here. How do they work? It's simple. After an earthquake, there is a ball inside the valve that shuts the gas off for the house. So if any lines were broken on the inside, gas will not be leaking. So you don't need to run to your valve and shut it off if there is a gas leak after an earthquake. So here in California, this is super important. Um, they call it uh, uh, seismic retrofit. Seismic retrofit is just a fancy name for earthquake valves. Uh, that's really good for your home. If you don't have one, hire someone to put it on for you. It's gonna cost you between $500 to $1,000 at the most, and it saves your home after an earthquake. This is how it works. You, can, you have a reset button on the side of the valve after an earthquake if nothing is wrong with your house and the gas is off, you just walk to the valve and reset it. It's a, a simple screwdriver. You put it in there and reset it and you're gonna have gas back onto the house. And if you feel that there is a line that's broken somewhere, that means that that valve actually saved your home. Inspectors came in here and made us replace the valve that we had in here because we had a three quarter inch line coming in so we had a three quarter inch valve and on this side a one inch line so we had a one inch valve and for some reason the inspector said hey go ahead and replace it for a one inch valve doesn't make sense you have a three quarter inch line coming in so it should be a three quarter inch valve but he requested a one inch valve so we did it because whatever the inspector says it has to happen and you don't question if he's wise or dumb you just do it Anyway, here, another good advice from Bryce Walker. Until next time, with Axe Plant Nation.